Good evening, my name is Illustrious Disciple of an Angel. That's an authoritative angel. Neil Leslie Gilbert Williams Jackson of you. And I'm messaging today on this post about uh, the uh, report of uh, uh, black uh, ch child or children uh, being stopped uh, in London and searched. And also uh, about weapons themselves, about the uh, perhaps a policy about tagging uh, existing weapons and making weapons with tags which I'll uh, explain. Today is Monday, the 19th day of the month of August, and it's year A M um, 7532, and the time now is 1840 hours, also known as AD 2024. Uh, yes, as I was uh, introducing uh, the message, uh, the nature of this message, uh, I was uh, just viewing the news, uh, both on uh, the ITV London news and the BBC London news, uh, effectively the evening news in the ch on the channels in London. And uh, I uh, decided today to uh, lower the volume and use uh, the read the subtitles on uh, the television. Uh, it's uh, I find that uh, more uh, literate uh, and uh, easier to uh, to process at this time uh, due to psychosis and mental health. Um, uh, it, it's better, I think. Uh, so uh, I uh, thought uh, that uh, well, you know, a few months ago, weeks ago on other reports on in the news, uh, the parents and the community leaders uh, were asking for action uh, from uh, the government uh, or police or whoever it is uh, to uh, lower and to prevent uh, the children, our children it was put, from being uh, stabbed and killed uh, especially in London. So I thought, well, you know, uh, I've sat in a meeting in Croydon under the Croydon Communities Consortium um, where the Croydon Commissioner, I cannot remember his name, I should have researched before, but it was just at the spare of this moment that I decided to uh, incorporate uh, the attendee, the guest uh, speaker um, of the meeting who said uh, that uh, st uh, when questioned uh, about the uh, stop and search um, that uh, I asked the question is it successful do they find weapons yes yes so effectively um, I uh, strategically asked the question as uh, the uh, uh, the uh, attendees of the meeting um, to, who were there to uh, obtain uh, answers and information exchange in a friendly meeting uh, which was documented uh, that uh, the, the children are, their children are being targeted and uh, I, I thought well um, the reality is that the same people are asking for prevention of knife, knife crimes and uh, deaths among our young and generally. So I thought, well, shouldn't surely uh, stop and search uh, is uh, preventative and is a success, as the, the commissioner, Croydon commissioner, said, stated that it was a, a success. And uh, I, I, I strategically uh, wanted to show my support for the, uh, the, the, I think it's section 60 or something, um, because um, it is a deterrent and I think it would and does work. So um, as the, uh, a few, of, few uh, angry attendees uh, seem to uh, calibrate 
and I suppose uh, unformally uh, agree that it does work. Um, in the news today, uh, I, I would suggest that uh, the uh, stop and search of black children isn't an illegal process. And I think the nature of my, um, uh, my uh, analysis about this and the reason for me wanting to uh, document is because um, the people who were stabbed or who uh, stabbed, uh, I think, uh, in, in, in London uh, in the past few years involved uh, mainly black children, I think. Therefore, uh, if the ratio for suspects and victims involve a specific IC group such as black children, then effectively more black children would be searched as statistically that's where the knife crimes are happening or the weapons are happening. So logically I would ask for um, our uh, representatives, um, community leaders, um, which is all IC groups, to perhaps uh, hear my uh, my 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 thought uh, and to uh, constructively uh, uh, concur or uh, I suppose uh, uh, change um, one's approach. Secondly, I thought that um, existing weapons, uh, that's offensive weapons, which I think are illegal, but I'm not sure because they do exist and they are manufactured. So, you know, off offensive weapons, um, I think, should be tagged, whether it's barcoded or numbered, uh, which should have uh, the credentials on database, uh, where uh, they uh, would have the name of the owner for the weapon um, or knife or whatever. This is guns as well, knives, guns, whatever, offensive weapons. Um, so that uh, a chip is, is inputted with the owner's credentials so that it would account for uh, a responsible ownership of these weapons as they are uh, legally made as far as far as I know they're manufactured legally uh, they're available legally and uh, I would imagine that the manufacturers of guns and uh, knives and offensive weapons uh, would uh, have intentions for these weapons to be used responsibly for the reasons that they're uh, created. So effectively, I would think that uh, perhaps uh, government uh, should consider um, talking to discuss um, a, uh, a, a way of tagging weapons uh, where uh, the weapon can be identified to the owner or owners and also um, identified to uh, uh, scanning uh, systems uh, which are in transport such as um, the barrier in underground and um, uh, train stations in uh, retail and other organization uh, which uh, operates a uh, security system so effectively a different noise much like a child's pass but for the weapon will sound when an offensive weapon is uh used uh, sorry w w is 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 in the possession of someone and can be uh identified when they enter transport or sh retail or other security uh uh, barcoded uh, 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 scanned uh, entrances and exits uh, so that one can be identified and perhaps uh, the uh, stop and search could uh, uh, involve having a handheld scanner so instead of having a strip search the scanner is run over them uh, and uh, for, for offensive weapons and uh, 
effectively uh, detected. Um, of course, if uh, there's reason to believe that the weapon is concealed, uh, for example, it could be a weapon that has been uh, uh, kept from being tagged, if the system was successful, um, then effectively an old weapon wouldn't be tagged, therefore there would be a reason to strip and search. So um, apart from the uh, deter deterring uh, of uh, prevention for uh, offensive weapons, um, of course that the tagging system uh, could uh, be successful uh, if uh, perhaps uh, introduced properly. So uh, there you have it. Uh, wishing you all well. Goodbye.